For 15 years, Richard Matheson had been a loyal employee of the Marley Engineering Corporation. The spacious, sleek office building, situated in the heart of New York City, had been his second home. Its tall, reflective glass windows mirrored the sprawling urban landscape, and inside, the hustle and bustle of engineers and designers filled the air with an energetic buzz. Richard's desk was positioned near the panoramic window, offering a view of the city's skyline. His workstation was littered with blueprints and diagrams, marking the countless projects he had been a part of. Over the years, he had formed a close-knit relationship with his colleagues. Their camaraderie was evident during the weekly Friday night games of pool and poker at Sullivan's, a local pub. The light-hearted banter, laughter, and shared dreams turned co-workers into friends, creating an atmosphere that made the corporation more than just a workplace. His boss, Harold Marley, had been a mentor to Richard. Despite his stern exterior, Mr. Marley was a fair man who appreciated dedication and hard work. There were memories of shared victories, the congratulatory pats on the back from Mr. Marley after successful projects, and the moments of genuine mentorship when deadlines were tight and stress ran high. However, things took a drastic turn on August 4th, 2021. Richard was unexpectedly called into Mr. Marley's office. He noticed the tension in the air, the usual bustling office environment ominously silent. The grim expression on Mr. Marley's face confirmed his worst fears. Richard was being let go due to budget cuts. The news was a crushing blow. Fifteen years of service and loyalty, only to be dismissed with a few short sentences. He left the office in a daze, the final view of his beloved workspace etched painfully into his memory. The one beacon of light in Richard's life was his daughter, Emily. Bright and intuitive beyond her sixteen years, Emily was Richard's pride and joy. Her innocent laughter had been his solace after long, grueling days. The memories of her running towards him, her tiny hands reaching out for an evening cuddle as he returned home from work, were some of the moments he cherished the most. But that evening, he couldn't bear to face her. His world had crumbled, his sense of self-worth obliterated. With a sinking feeling in his stomach, he left his office for the last time. The sun was setting, and as Richard shuffled towards the subway station, he could feel the weight of the world on his shoulders. As he descended the subway stairs, a tall, lanky figure approached him. The figure's face was hidden in the shadows, but Richard could see the faint glimmer of an unsettling smile. What's troubling you, friend? The figure's voice echoed, chillingly serene amidst the hustle and bustle of the city. I just lost my job, Richard confessed, his voice heavy with sorrow. What if I told you I could make everything better? The figure offered, stepping into the dim subway light revealing fierce, crimson eyes. Who? What are you? Richard stammered, captivated by the hypnotic gaze. Let's just say I'm someone who helps those in need. Just give me the word, and I'll write the wrong done to you. The figure replied. In a moment of weakness, overwhelmed by frustration and rage, Richard muttered, I want revenge. And so, the pact was sealed. The next day, the news of Mr. Harold Marley, Richard's former boss, being found dead in his home sent shockwaves through the city. The authorities claimed it to be a gruesome, inexplicable homicide. Richard was horrified. What have you done? He demanded, confronting the crimson-eyed demon in the subway again. You asked for revenge and I delivered, the demon replied, a wicked grin stretching across its face. I didn't mean, I didn't want him dead, Richard cried clutching his hair in despair. Well, you should have been clearer then. I can't undo it, you know, the demon retorted, its grin fading to a stern gaze. Guilt started gnawing at Richard's insides. He had unleashed a nightmare he couldn't control. The once vibrant, happy man was now a shell of his former self. He could barely eat or sleep. He spent his days wandering the city like a specter, haunted by the consequences of his actions. His family started noticing his unusual behavior, but Richard couldn't bring himself to confess the truth. His daughter, Emily, a bright and perceptive 16-year-old, was particularly worried. Dad, you've been acting strange. What's going on? She asked one day. Nothing, Em. I'm just tired, he managed to say, forcing a smile onto his gaunt face. Weeks passed, and Richard's guilt was eating him alive. One gloomy evening, he found himself standing on the edge of the Hudson River. 
He stared into the dark, unfeeling waters, contemplating the irreversible damage he had done. He thought about Mr. Marley's family, forever scarred by their sudden loss. He thought about his own family, who would soon discover his atrocious secret. I can't live with this guilt, he murmured, the words escaping his lips like a ghostly whisper. A cold wind blew, whipping up the waves on the river's surface. He took a deep breath, closing his eyes, and stepped off the edge. The frigid water enveloped him, and darkness took over. Later that evening, Emily and her mother returned home to find a note on the kitchen table. It was Richard's handwriting, shaky and distraught. The note revealed his guilt, his pact with the demon, and his remorse for what had happened to Mr. Marley. He confessed his inability to live with the burden of his actions, apologizing profusely for the pain he was about to inflict on his family. His last words were a desperate plea for forgiveness. As Emily read the note, her hands shook, tears streaming down her face. Her mother, Maria, collapsed onto a chair, her face turning pale as the reality of Richard's suicide sank in. They clung to each other, their sobs echoing through the empty house. The following days were a blur. Richard's body was discovered, the city mourned another inexplicable death, and Richard's family grappled with the tragic aftermath of his actions. The revelations in Richard's note turned their lives upside down. Maria struggled to comprehend the monstrous force that had driven her loving husband to such desperation. Emily, her young mind wrestling with the tragic reality, was consumed by a quiet rage towards the demon that had orchestrated their demise. The demon was last seen disappearing into the shadows of the subway station, the echoes of Richard's desperation lingering in the air. The aftermath of the pact was a grim reminder of the devastating consequences of revenge. Richard's ill-fated story serves as a chilling tale of horror, rooted in reality, a testament to the age-old adage, be careful what you wish for. Haunted by their loss and the chilling truth behind it, Richard's family struggled to find closure. Their lives were forever marked by the memory of a loving father and husband who had been led astray by a moment of despair, forever reminding us of the deadly power of revenge and the irreversible consequences of our actions. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more true scary stories.